Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, JNTH Important Questions. In this video, uh, we are going to talk about programming for problem solving PPS as uh, many of the students have requested me for this subject. So yeah, it has been a little delayed, but uh, hope uh, you will get this. And uh, this is important questions and topics for semester exam R25 regulation. Before starting this video, I just want to tell you if you are not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe as whenever there will be an exam time, then this platform or this youtube channel will provide important questions for you as this will help you in the long term basis and also share the video among friends so that uh, everyone can be benefited to this video uh, before starting this video again i just want to put a disclaimer that uh, the questions appearing in this video may or may not appear in your final exam this video is made for the revision purposes of students letting them know what is important in the syllabus and also what are the important questions kindly treat this as a revision only there is no guarantee that only these questions will come in the exam so let's start with your syllabus so this the syllabus for r25 regulation is quite different from r22 uh, there are lot of differences between r22 and r25 so please be aware of that while preparing okay so and also the unit one which consists of overview of c language what are the elements data types uh, c program arithmetic expressions and then there is selection structures in selection structures you learn about conditions what is if statements and if statements with compound statements and uh, decision steps in algorithm then repetition of loop statements so what are the loop statement what is conditional loop what is statement what is loop design nested loops uh, do while statement etc etc now, now coming to unit 2 top down design with functions and there is pointer and modular programming so one question from top down design one from one question from pointers and modular programming okay unit 3 unit 3 you have arrays strings so one question from arrays one question for strings will be compulsory recursion and also structure and union types so one question from here one question from here and uh, so on uh, coming to unit 5 you will have binary text file file pointers and uh, searching and sorting so one question from here one question from here so as i think so far it is clear for you how is this syllabus and how you are going to prepare okay so generally what happens in pps pps is a base subject for cse students so from here whatever the subjects you will be getting after that it will be more more in an advanced state only for ec students also this is important because you will have some other subjects related to this so whenever it comes to programming languages or whatever programming subjects which are related to software then this you i mean like subject will act as a base for you so everything will be advanced version of these five units only so okay if you are learning programming and everything so exam paper pattern r25 so you will know that you know i think uh, most of you students know that the part a will come for 10 marks part b will come for 50 marks and uh, from part a which is compulsory and you have five short answers you need to write all those to get 10 marks don't ignore this part a whenever you are writing part a write it properly so that you will get five to six marks and also it will be useful in getting pass marks okay part b consists of five questions which carry 10 marks each and uh, that's up to you how many you will write so please write it properly and uh, this is a uh, not much of a scoring subject this is the subject which you just need to get pass and after that you will learn more you need to learn more from this subject as this is a new complete new thing will be for you now prepare three chapters perfectly how you are going to pass write two marks questions for r25 i'm saying two mark questions you'll get five to so part a never for if you are r22 r24 whatever it is never ignore part a because part a will help you in getting pass marks even if you are thinking about scoring then five six marks is almost equivalent to one percent or 0 0.5 percent of overall so never ignore this part a okay uh, because uh, most of us will be thinking that part B will be crucial, but part A is equally crucial. So you need to prepare is one, two, three, four, five. As uh, this subject, you need to cover all the basics 
prepare in this manner first prepare first unit second unit third unit fourth unit and slowly come to the fifth unit at the end try to order maximum question possible and present the answer sheet with neat handwriting handwriting in the sense write it properly whatever the programs if they he is asking programs here in this then write it properly now coming to the important topics of unit one what is that the general form of a c program formatting numbers in program output conditions statement if statement if statements with compound statements and also decision steps in algorithm decision steps in algorithm is most important here okay and uh, then you have what you have in statements then sum or product loop for statement conditional loop loop design nested loops two while well statement so if you now if you come to the questions you i i have covered one question each from each topic so this will not be an issue for you so describe the general form of and this and data types in c then arithmetic expression explain operator procedure and associativity in example example uh, explain formatted input and output in c with print f and scan f for numbers and characters okay differentiate between simple if and if else statement okay and these are the questions so if you want this question in a pdf format then go to the uh, description i have provided the link so please uh, download the document in pdf and uh, you can just check okay uh, you can also visit examupdt.com for more important questions now coming to the unit 2 what are unit 2 unit 2 we have top down design functions so, so they can ask anything from the top down top down design with functions okay then you have pointers indirect in, in direction operator then you have multiple calls for function so if you see this important questions you will understand how these questions are framed so please please have a look here and uh, just uh, analyze it and uh, revise if possible okay uh, what is pointer and explain these address of and in direction operators explain the scope of names and how it affects the program etc etc so these are the unit two and also reminder goes if you want pdf link is in description download okay and uh, now coming to the unit three so again uh, whatever i have highlighted in yellow is the unit three important for you just multi-dimensional array so I have, I have told you already uh, one from arrays and one from strings are compulsory so prepare accordingly one question from there one question from here and also check out this all the important questions you can you can take if you want you can take screenshot or you can download the pdf which is given in description exam updt.com is where you have to visit for the pdf so i have uploaded all the pdfs there so please 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 do check out okay now coming to unit 4 the nature of recursion recursive functions with array and string parameters structure and union types uh, define structure types and what are the union types okay so if one question from recursion and one question from structures it's compulsory okay understood please uh, let me know in comments uh, if you have any doubts you can let me know in the comments and also important questions from unit 4 write a recursive c function to solve a mathematical problem such as finding the nth fibonacci number what do you call this you need to write a program that's what i was telling in the in the uh, exact thing write it neatly so that uh, the evaluator can understand what you have written define a user defined structure type how do you access the structure members using the dot operator discuss how structure type data can be used as input and output parameters in functions explain the concept of functions re returning structured values with the suitable code snippet compare compare and contrast the structures and union explain when it is advantageous to a union so this is how one question from structures and one question from recursion is asked so these are these are from recursion these are from recursion okay this is from recursion so you can just check with this all the questions revise it properly try to write the answers without seeing your textbook or your reference material try to write it as much as you can check that two pages three pages if you are able to write then that is good uh, then that is well and good you can write in exam if you are unable to write then practice it properly because there is a lot of time there so please now coming to the unit 5 unit 5 what do you have binary files searching searching a database basic logarithm so how questions will be framed we'll know in the next slide okay now from unit 5 how you are 
explain the bubble sort algorithm provide a step by step case to the unsolved trick okay discuss intersection sort and section sort of algorithm providing logic for each explain the linear search technique with this algorithm okay so these are the file pointers okay steps involved in file processing opening reading reading or writing and closing a file what are the steps file processing and difference between text files and binary files in c that it so these are the important questions so this will be and a reminder if you want to download you can go to examuptt.com to access all these important questions in pdf format and you can share as well as if you want okay now coming to part a question some people are asking how part a questions will be so these are this two marks question which i tried to frame but uh, just check with that uh, if it works if it works then try, try to prepare properly majority of the part a questions are asked as a part b question but it is in the smaller form that's it okay so part a if they are asking in detail explain explanation you have to write two pages right for example this is page number one this is page number two you have to write it in the both for two marks if you write this much of in page in page you will write this much of matter then that is more than enough you will get one and a half mark okay <laughs> so one and a half one and a half one and a half that would actually become four and a half to five marks and if you get if you are writing two more and you are getting one mark so six six and a half marks you'll be getting easily so that was the video guys so if you want you can download the pdf and if you are not followed us on social media the links are given in description we are on instagram as exam updt please do follow and also on whatsapp we have separate channel with 88 k subscribers and on instagram we have 90k followers so please 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 do follow links are given in description until then i'll see you in the next exam video which is of b double e so until then take care and uh, share this video with your friends like share and subscribe thank you guys and all the best for your exam